here are some pennies that I've found, some here in Okinawa and some <clears throat> that I found while I was in the States this summer. Um, and I want to send them through my tumbler to show you how well that they clean. And I was only doing the tumbler for like 30 minutes and I couldn't figure out why they weren't, you know, getting super clean after 30 minutes. And then my friend said that he does his you know, two, three hours, sometimes overnight. So I'm gonna do mine for one hour, and then I'm gonna show you what they look like after an hour, and I may end up having to do them longer. We'll see. This is how big it is. And I just put in the media. I have a 50 yen coin in there that's really crusty. It's already gone through, I don't know, like <laughs> more than two hours. And, um, Okay, so there's all my crusty pennies. Hot water and dish soap in my container. And then I put the lid on. Put the little security bar across there. Across the top. And I'm gonna carry it over to my machine and I'll turn it back on. Here's my machine, it's gonna get kinda loud. It does the reverse, it'll do a reverse cycle. So it starts out one direction, and then it'll stop and turn itself around and go the other direction. Sometimes I use this shine bright, but not on copper. There we go. And then it stops, and then it's going to reverse itself. So I'll let it run for an hour, and we'll put my pennies after one hour in the tumbler. Some of them are super shiny. Some of them are still crusty. <laughs> Look at this one. This was one that was super crusty. I think I got this one in Daytona. And it was super, super crusty. And then now, look, when you knock off all the crusty stuff, <laughs> it's just a little sliver of its former self. And then that 50 yen coin that's been through a couple of times, it's still just baked on, caked on thick stuff so I'm gonna send it through again so I may pick out like the shinier pennies that don't need to go through anymore and put the darker ones back in for longer and um, do it for another hour and we'll see what we get all right this is the fourth cycle of the penny cleaning and look at how dirty that water is still even after four times through Okay, let's rinse it out and take a look. Hey, look at this 50 yen coin. It's finally got the big chunks of crust off of it. Still not super, super clean, but at least, at least it looks a lot better. And let's see. Boy, these are looking good. I feel like some of the coins were, I saw a stinking zinc in this one. Now, this isn't getting any better than this because the copper is just worn off. It's a zinc in. That's just, I don't know what. <laughs> so I would say that these are pretty much good to go. I mean, you know, you could certainly spend them. This guy isn't going anywhere. It's not getting any better. So I've got a little pile of coins that, you know, I won't be able to use and that's fine. But, um, Everything else is looking pretty good. I mean, I'd like to see these dark ones get cleaner, but you know, I don't know why it's not. This is 1985. And this one is 1978. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right. So, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this. I mean, I could let it go for overnight and probably have it you know be sparkling clean but i'm pretty pleased with the way these look and that's just dish soap dawn dish soap and water in my tumbler and an hour at a time and i went through four times and these guys you know some of these guys were really crusty and um they're looking they're looking mighty good all right well i hope that you guys found that video helpful I'm gonna move on to my 10 yen coins because I've got a lot of those. And um, I, I highly recommend a 
tumbler for cleaning your coins. It's not invasive. It's not, you know, eating the finish off or anything like that. So, um, I recommend it. I like, I like my, uh, tumbler. All right, you guys have a good day. I'm going to actually clean up this little mess and then I'm going to head out for a hunt. I'm excited. <laughs> I hope I find something good so I can share it with you guys. Have a great day. Artisan bread that I made. It just came out of the oven. It smells so delightful. Four ingredients. That's it. It was so nice and easy to make. Oh my, it tastes so good. It is so delightful. Look at all the air bubbles. It is so delightful. You can really taste the garlic. I think I'm going to go nuts with this bread recipe. Right in it's the Kimi Castle Ruins. And can you hear all the bugs? And there's even a cherry blossom. That's crazy. Here it says the Kimi Castle Ruins. <sighs> It's a really cool hike through the castle land. We just saw a giant bird spider too. <laughs> mantis, some kind of mantis? Yeah, it's in the mantis family, but it's a walking stick. It's called a walking stick. That's cool. Nick's going to love that. <laughs> 